so this is uh, my new second hand Nature Hike Opulus 2. Um, I love tents like this. They're tunnel tents. I'm not actually a big fan of tunnel tents, but I just love the extra porch space. And I did purchase a uh, Robin's Explo uh, Voyager 2EX, which I've used a few times and love it. Um, but it's 3.2, 3.3 kilograms. Um, and then I managed to get a great deal on this um, second hand and it weighs in at just over two kilograms which if I'm splitting that between me and my girlfriend that comes into almost the ultralight category of like a kilogram each or just over it so I had to get it just to see what I thought of it and to be honest I just put it up in my local park and I'm loving it one of the things I love about it that the robins didn't have is um, this extra guy point in the middle of this longer piece of material and if I keep the Rubens tent, I will probably modify it to put in stitch in bungees or something on those metal bits. The thing that the Rubens did have that this doesn't have is a metal point here. So I might modify this if I keep it to put something there. Um, the vents I know could can be issues in these, I think, with like rain splashing up, but there's quite a distance there. There's no wee arm to keep that out for venting but it's quite stiff so it seems to sit out quite naturally on its own um, if it was closed down and it was blowing a gale could rain get up in there yeah <laughs> possibly but who knows um, but yeah I'm actually I thought these things are actually gonna feel flimsy and it does feel lightweight but it doesn't feel flimsy it feels good um, I haven't checked the inside yet, but the way, reason why I like these tents is the amount of porch space, so if it is chucking it down and raining, in which case I'd rather be under a tarp. <laughs> um, because being in the rain on a tarp is wonderful. Looks like the last owner didn't <laughs> um, empty it out, but looking good. <laughs> hey, yeah. You never saw one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You didn't even know that was dark in the distance because it matches. Oh, it matches. That's a good sign for me, anyway. <laughs> Are you going to stay there? Tonight? Oh, sure not. No. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Bye bye, have a good night. Uh, one of the locals doesn't like the tent. <laughs> um, the local, one of the local dogs, thankfully. Um, yeah, this is another thing I actually quite like because Rubens had come up with uh, like probably a newer, jazzier way of putting the inner into the outer. Um, I actually like this old school way of doing it with the wee um, toggles. It's just a no brainer, and actually, the Rubens. I've kind of overcomplicated it or tried to patent some new design and it's like not necessary and yeah it's actually a bit more fiddly so um, also the pockets in this are better the Robins tent has these little diagonally shaped uh, pockets and are a bit of a nuisance um, like if you roll back the fly it doesn't actually sit in very well um, Oh, yeah. But yeah, this has definitely got better pockets. All the locals are coming out to say hello. Bit of drama, bit of attention. There's a tent in the park. <gasps> anyway, I'm definitely very, very happy with this. Um, yeah, fantastic. Let's see who's coming down to meet me. <laughs> I think it's a keeper. What do you think? We think it's a keeper. Goodness, there's a man in the park with a tent. Is he gonna sleep there tonight? I hope not. <laughs>